hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to hide a field based on context in Odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing Odoo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our Odoo 15 development tutorials and currently in the screen you can see we have opened the appointment tree view and if I open any of the draft appointment so let me open OB0012 here you can see we have a cancel button and if I click on cancel you will be getting a wizard that contains the fields like appointment, a text field of reason and cancellation date and also if I open the same Odoo from this tab here you can see we have a cancellation menu so on clicking the cancellation menu you will be getting the same wizard so if you check the view id edit view form you can see its, it's external id is om hospital dot view cancel appointment form and if you check here view cancel appointment form so both are same wizards so on clicking cancel you are getting a wizard and you have cancellation menu that also returning the same menu so our intention is when we access the wizard from the cancel button we already have default value for the appointment field so here you can see for the appointment we are getting the default value as op0012 which is this record so if i move to the next record we have op0013 and if i click on cancel we have getting the at appointment as a default value so then there is no use to show or make this field visible over here so let's see how we can hide this appointment field based on context in Odoo so if I go to the PyCharm here we have the custom add-ons and here we have the OM hospital module so I'll navigate to the views folder and I'll up open appointment view dot XML so this is the appointment form and here you can see this is that cancel button that execute type action this action will be getting executed and what i have to do on clicking this action i'll pass some identifier inside the context so here we have the context so inside the context what i'll do i'll just add one marker like hide appointment you can give any name so i'll put the name as hide appointment colon one so simply from here i'll just pass this marker some marker hide appointment as true that is one and what i'll do so let me upgrade the module so i have just added this marker and what i'll do inside the wizard form view so if i go to the wizards here we have that view that wizard view where we have defined appointment reason and cancellation date so here you can see we have appointment id reason and cancel so inside wizard what i'll do i'll just add one thing invisible equal to i'm just adding one invisible attribute invisible context dot get of i'll copy this marker so here we have passed a marker called hide appointment inside context I'll just do like this so here you can see I have added invisible equal to so what this code will do is that it will evaluate this context context dot get so it will check whether we have a hide dot hide appointment key inside context if yes it will return one so it will get invisible equal to one so if there is no marker called hide appointment it will return zero that is not need to make it invisible so i have just added the code like this so let's upgrade the module and see what happens so i'll go to the ui and from here i'll go to the apps menu and i'll upgrade om hospital module so the module is getting upgraded and if i come back to the cancellation so from here also we can access the same view so here you can see still the appointment is visible when we access the view from the menu now let's see what happens from here i'll just refresh and if i click on cancel you can see the appointment field is getting invisible so here you can see we don't have the appointment field but here you can see we are getting the appointment field is visible so this is how we can make a field invisible based on context so here 
from where that button get launched i have passed inside context i have just added hide appointment as one and here i am checking whether the context contain a key called hide appointment if yes we will be hiding that field so i hope you understood the scenario and similar scenario we can do from another place also so if i go to the female patient so here i hope you remember we have a menu called female patients and if i click on create you can see we have passed default value as female and there is no need to show this field so let's see how we can hide this gender field when we are accessing from female patients menu so if you check here edit view form view hospital patient form and if you open the patients we also showing the same view view hospital patient form view hospital patient form so what i'll do is that i'll go to the corresponding menu so female patient view so this is the menu and this is the action so here what i'll do inside context so for menu action also we have context so i'll have add one more key here inside context i'll add a key called hide gender hide gender one that is true i just pass like that and inside the view patient view so for this we have to get its form view so here we have that corresponding form view of the patient and here we have gender field so along with here i'll add invisible context dot get what is our key hide gender hide gender I have added context dot get hide gender so let's upgrade and see what happens so before upgrading you can see whenever we navigate to patients and if i open from here you can see the gender over here and if i come via female patients you are also able to see the gender so let's see the difference after activating or after installing or upgrading the module so i click the upgrade button so the module has been upgraded now i'll go to the patients and if i open you can see the gender field is visible over here and if i go to the female patients and if i open the form you can see the field is invisible so what we have done is we have passed inside the menu action we have passed a marker as hide gender equal to one and in the corresponding view i have added an attribute invisible equal to context dot hide gender so this is how we can hide a field based on context in Odoo. so i hope you understood this scenario if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to share with us over the email or you can connect us in the social medias like linkedin facebook and twitter and if you like the video please do click the like button and subscribe the channel so that you won't miss any videos from Urumates. So that's it for the day. Have a nice day. Thank you.